a huge part of our population is being augmented by Latinos and God bless them. Great. I love it. Um, <laughs> the, well, the, <laughs> the, the other question I had there was, uh, I thought of immigration, right? Does it matter if it's legal or illegal or just, Hey, we just need more people to show up. It doesn't matter. No, I'm, I'm not going to go there because, you know, I certainly don't want to bring in criminals. But uh, we have a fair number of criminals right here. And I'll, I'll give you some numbers that will curl your hair. Um, I, Be careful, what, Ken. With Ken's, uh, Cameron's hair is like a huge important. <laughs> you messed that up, Ken. It's, like, it's spot okay. on today, yeah. too, Ken. Yeah, yeah it well, is spot on. Yeah. Here's, here's some numbers for you. And, and these are kind of freaky. Between the ages of 25 and 55 in the United States, we have about 120 million people total. That's the working. That's our labor force. 25 to 55. Okay. That's labor. And we have a fair amount of it. Um, of that group, half of them are women. True. Okay. So we'll take the women out of the package because uh, we're going to talk about uh, being a felon and women don't commit crime. Women are 10 times less likely to commit a crime than a man. And which is something that organizations sh should take into consideration when they hire a, a CFO big time. <laughs> The, that's, a good, that's a good point. Yeah. Well, now we have now we have 60 million men, right? Yeah. Okay. 60 million men. What percentage of that 60 million are felons? Have been in jail for at least one year, and uh, are either unemployed or underemployed. You want to take a guess? I would. I would hope. Th Three. I mean, that's three percent. I mean, I, was, uh, I feel 20. like there's. I, what? Here, let me help you out. No, you're that's, going the wrong way. It's it it's uh, it's thirty three percent. It, it's uh, uh, twenty million, and we have twenty million felons that are unemployed or underemployed in our sweet spot for labor. That's a problem for us. And in fact, you know, talking to truckers yesterday, they don't have enough drivers. So I, I'm trying to persuade the trucking industry to uh, hire felons because a lot of the organizations are, you know, like, uh, you know, trucking organizations already do hire felons. Now look, we're not done yet of the 20 million felons. How does that, how do they break out? It's, it's a uh, one half or 10 million African-American, 25% Latino, 25% white. So of the, and, and this is this is something I, I tell my audiences. I said, listen, we've wiped out a culture. The number of African American men, literally, that exist between twenty five and fifty five is about ten million. So it's all of them. And so it's it's absolutely tragic what we have done to that culture. And I believe we have done it, and we need to fix it. Is that is that What what is that? Is that violent crime? Is that drugs? What is it? Yeah, it's it's crime. It's cr it's crime where, where you do at least a, a year in jail. And the recidivism, yeah, yeah. the recidivism among uh, felons is like a, a you know a spinning door. You go in and out, in and out, in and out. So nonstop. You want to see the entire episode? Click here. If you want to learn how investors use infinite banking. To increase their returns and lower their taxes, click here. If you want to see if infinite banking is for you and you have some questions, hop on a discovery call with us and one of our coaches. The link for that will be in the description.